And welcome to another D and D stream here on a Tuesday. Hi, D and D stream. On a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Going up on a Tuesday. Now, where we last left off, you all <clears throat> split the party, for lack of a better term. Alberto split the party by himself. After a long rest in a tiny hut, you all went cave exploring. While cave exploring, you ran into trolls and other things that might hurt you. I was scared, okay? And icicles fell on your heads due to someone using thunder wave inside a dark cave that could reverberate sound. And um, I have plus zero to intelligence. You guys nice. chose not to. Uh, <laughs> you guys chose not to heal, um, or try to cure the disease of the ailing uh, um, ice hunter that you found. Excuse you. We did we try, but nobody had anything to cure it. Oh, people had stuff. They chose not to. Wait, what? Oh, those um, bastards! I tried. <laughs> and then Yarn only has his axe. Uh, I think the big takeaway, though, was Abraham. <laughs> Abraham, you've nearly died several times over, but something seems to be keeping your life tethered to this plane. When questioned by the group... Louisiana man. <laughs> when you questioned by the group, you just skated around the situation, shall we say? I told them exactly what was going on. And you also mistook the actual deal. Oh, I didn't really get and you signed how many contracts? Uh, three. As of yet. Three. One on paper, one on the back of a damned wretch from hell, and one out of the burning sulfur uh, magma that sprouted from the ground. Never once questioning what was on said contracts. I think great, he did question great, it. Great full sentence there, Mason. We got every word of that. Yeah, your voice is fucked up, Mason, if you could try to fix it. Um... I you can't. It's how he was born. <laughs> Baby, I was born this way. Baby, I was born. And then you pulled out Jeff, whom have you have not spoken to in a while. But as you pulled him out, you pricked your hand on these devilish spines that were now growing off of Jeff's body. And you realized you signed away Jeff's soul. When he was under my care, I didn't sign away his soul. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Abraham, you were tasked with damning your companions or stealing their holy symbols, of which you haven't seemed to do either yet. But learning that Jeff had now been turned into a devil, you immediately were filled with a rage and wanted to take back everything that you've done. But maybe you're too far gone. We'll have Nothing to see. is too far gone when Jeff is in the line. Also, That's my so much better? better. So much better. Okay, good. And I then found out what was wrong. Uh, Dirk and Bjorn, you guys went on a little detour following some rabbits, some kobolds, and you came back with another one, deeming this one to be Spurt 3. <laughs> he is the best Spurt. He still is questioning 
why he is the third spurt. But the physical abuse is enough to keep him quiet. Sexy. And Alberto, you are in a deep, dark part of these caverns. After jumping down um, a hole, you slid down a chute, landed in this icy cavern that was several degrees colder than the one you had just been in. Not only that, but there were pillars of ice reaching from floor to ceiling 40 feet into the air. You'd think maybe your friends would come get you. But instead, they followed Spurt 3 (laughs) to another chamber, one which you had not explored yet. And as you all rounded that corner... Milton was suddenly grabbed by these wickedly long and dirty claws from an ice troll. And immediately those claws ripped into him and uh, had him falling unconscious. As you all prepared for a battle, your initiatives were too low. And Milton was torn into two separate halves in front of your eyes. Eventually, you were all able to vanquish the troll. Shay tried her best to resuscitate the upper half of Milton with a healing word, but there was no reaction. And as you all held your heads low, you followed Spurt 3 deeper into the chamber where you found this room, uh, not this room, this shelter made from huge tapestries and carpets draped across these frames of whale ribs. It stood tall. The inside of it was surprisingly warm thanks to some stoves and some lamps burning whale oil. You looked around, you saw books and scrolls stacked neatly on tables. And before you, Seated at a writing desk is a female tiefling wearing a blazing crimson cloak over tailored furs. The cloak is fastened with a silver and ivory brooch bearing the design reminiscent of a stylized branching tree, the symbol of the arcane brotherhood. Two kobold attendants stand nearby as you all approach you see their legs and um, arms quiver in anticipation, glancing nervously between you and the tiefling. After a few moments, the tiefling looks up with an expression of pale disinterest and asks, Have you come to save me or kill me? Not that there will be much difference between the two. And that's where we're starting. Well, first of all, I got the voice right. That is the one we used last time. Um, and then I want to address the tiefling, and I want to say that, well, we're here to save you. And I want to ask Spurt 3 if he can ask his kobold friends to stand down so we don't have to hurt them. Ah, they can hear you. Uh, I wasn't sure they could understand us. If you, if you That's racist. Say- <laughs> well, we've, Just we've because we're not like you, you don't think we can speak like you? We've had communication issues before. Better safe than sorry. You know, gorillas have been oh, taught well, sign language. Dirk is crossing his arms and scowling at Lester. Oh, <laughs> well, I am more than gorillas at this point. They're not going to hurt you. They're just here to tend to me and my needs. Mostly cook whatever they deem edible anyways. Fair. Why are you still here? You seem to be in good health. 
that we all, everyone's been waiting for. I've been here for the past several years. I don't even know how long it's been anymore. But I've been uh, um, held hostage, I guess is how you would say. You seem unsure. Well, as you see, the the arrangements aren't terrible here. Look at that guy. Oh, so... makes me wonder why you want to leave. I I want to ask Chen. Uh, as an aside, I want to ask Chen if he can keep watching on this little side hallway thing. Okay. And I. Rick pipes in and says, "Well, if you want out." We're your way out. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Uh, we wouldn't get very far, though, would we? Why is that? Uh, a wrath the tour would kill us all. That's well, what if we don't have a wrath the tour? Mm, yeah. What if we that's... went around a wrath the tour? He would follow us, and I'm assuming we're still surrounded by an ocean. Which means we do, we he do would ship. fly faster than any ship could travel. And you really want to be on a ship over freezing water oh, right. with what if, a what dragon. Him to help us? Well, so I, I want to I wanna tell her, I want to say, well, we are overall looking to destroy the Drakhorn. Um, do you have any idea where it might be? Is, like, would it be on this iceberg island thing? Uh, listen, it's not... Uh, Look, it's... Obviously, this chick wants something to do with us. Why don't we just leave her to the wolves, in my opinion? No, no, that's the wrong thing to do. But she's important. Cut, Cut to me. Cut to Alberto. Oh boy, I think to myself, I hope my friends are actually coming and saving me and not wasting their time running in circles with dialogue with a person that's going to last for two to three hours before we all go to bed. I say we let this guy die. Alberto, I told you my plan. I didn't like it. God damn it. <laughs> um, I am going to tiptoe down this hallway for a little bit. All right, make a stealth check with disadvantage. I got crap. What is my stealth fucking stat? Oh no, I didn't want you to come up. Crap. I am so so sorry, everybody. Stealth is plus zero. So I got thirteen. <laughs> Are you on this way? Yeah. Lucky number thirteen. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is that a wall? Like, does it kind of go straight, or is Which it like one? Really this stuck? one? Yeah, is that a wall? No, it just narrows so that this chamber only becomes 15 feet wide. Oh, I was talking you... about the opposite side. This one? Yeah. So that's uh, 8 feet above you. I want to climb up on that. You want to climb up on that? Yeah. Okay. Um, as you climb up, um, make a uh, make an acrobatics check. Or a strength check with disadvantage because the ice down here is technically difficult terrain. It's way more slippery than the ice you were walking on in the upper chambers. Nine. You fall on your ass and the um, the echoes of your uh, of your armor clanging against the ice um, just begin to reverberate for what seems like an entire minute but maybe it was just a few seconds but it's loud as it was silent down here before is it the opposite wall shorter no they're the same oh actually sorry this was eight feet uh here this is 16 feet up oh all right i'm gonna tiptoe to the corner then to here yeah oh. Okay, so uh, you get about there, and we'll cut back to the rest of the party. And Macath says, listen, uh, 
I am a prisoner here because of Arathator. He's obsessed with me completing some of some more challenging magical translations. That's what I do with most of my time here. Where's well, he asking you to kill him? Well, you could kill him, but I still want to finish my work here. Guys, we have bigger fish to fry. He Jeff has... is in trouble. Who the fuck what? is Jeff? We None of your fucking business, you twat. Maybe we could trade the dragon. Maybe we could trade she... the dragon for the for Jeff. Sorry, what? Maybe we could trade the dragon soul for Jeff if we kill the dragon. Mm. What soul is more appropriate than a dragon's for Jeff? Very well, I accept. I accept these terms. What terms? We haven't even come to an agreement. I'm talking to my man, alright? You, you I st we still haven't decided if we're gonna get out of this party. Um, so what, what? what are you, do you know what you're translating? Because I don't see why you couldn't take the work with us when we leave. Um, it's what? quite a bit of work that we will be taking with us. I don't. But I don't I'm completely that. fine with that if you're willing to carry it. Yeah, yeah. We we have um, we have ways to to travel with a lot of. Gear. You're talking about bags of holding. Yes. How many did you bring? Two. Um. Yeah. Three total, I think. Three should be plenty. Well, uh, wait, can we just... Listen, um, you there, I believe they called you Chen? Yes. Okay, so down that way is the scriptorium. That's where we keep, um, most of the... Okay, I don't know Did what that is. <laughs> Apparently, let me go close that door. <laughs> <sighs> so, where was I? Yes, that way is the scriptorium. That's where all uh, you'll find all the magical writings and everything in there. If you could just uh, start loading that up, that would be great. That would be great. Um, is there anything in there guarding it? No, but uh, Arathator will probably know as soon as you touch it, so just letting you know that. Um, so I'll so, kill Arathator first. So, so question, um, I, I want to do an aside into my uh, speaking stones, and I want to ask our friendly neighborhood exploring paladin buddy. Um, as you begin to speak into the speaking stone, she's like, oh, gosh, is that an enchantment? Are you casting sending right now? Yes. That's not going to work here. Why not? It was working earlier. Uh, gosh. All right. So there's a lot of Arathator's potent magic around this area, including spells and rituals um, stolen from the Arcane Brotherhood. So... They've, that's why I've been stuck here. They've kind of kept my spells sealed here. So we're invisible to scrying and we can't use sending or any other forms of long form magic. Okay. Um, my necklace. Will that do anything? Oh, <laughs> she's <laughs> like, um... I don't think he wrote any sort of enchantment spells for that specifically, but maybe don't let him see that because he will take it from you. I tuck my necklace into my shirt that I'm wearing. Yeah, Arathator has a real fetish for magical items. Kind of like how somebody fetish? has a fetish for my horse and I glare at Abraham. <laughs> you don't appreciate Thunder um, as well as I do. So I so I want to I want to talk to our our new mage friend, um, and I want to say okay. So if he's got a fetish for magical items, um, we know from our our guide here that he has a ship full of items. What guide? The corner. Our little spurt three here, and I want to just 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 <sighs> look at you, you naughty little minx, telling them everything. What was I supposed to do? 
<laughs> Hot. So, because of that, um, what what if we raided that for magical items first and lured him out of his lair? Uh, so, the thing about dragons, they know as soon as you touch their horde. Yes. So, we would go in there and touch the horde, grabbing what items we could, but when he comes to protect the horde, we would have him out of his lair. Okay, alternatively... Does he know y'all are here yet? Um, probably. Okay, so you think that he'll just fall for your trap then? Uh, not necessarily, but it could be worth a try. Okay, because what's probably going to happen is, he got, is he's going to send a shit ton of ice toads and ice trolls to you. And then uh, if you survive like that, then he would come out and gobble you up when you were weak and nearly dead anyways so he was a coward we've killed a substantial portion of the things that are in here ah gosh honey you don't understand this is his one of many layers but this is his favorite one so he's not gonna go quiet into the night so how does he transport from one layer to the other layer? He like, fucking oh, flies. Yeah. He's a dragon. God, who brought the time. big that oaf? That takes time. That Do takes time. Any... Can all you use Do is you your any... volume? No. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you have any I see how it is. On how to deal with Read that. a dictionary, son. Gosh. Eat a dick. Shinary. I vote we... I don't like her. I'm done with her. I vote we go find Alberto. I agree. Well, actually, can we leave Alberto to die, but, like, continue on? No. No. Oh. Worth a shit. Bad devil. Bad. Hey. What do you have against devils? Says the tiefling. Uh, I don't know if you have, like, ye, ye medieval corporations, but he's basically like one of those. I didn't read the terms and conditions. I want to I wanna ask our tiefling friend, can you give us any information on where the Drakhorn drac is? Uh, yeah, yeah, the Jackhorn. Um, let's see. It was here, and now it's not. Can you do a little bit? This bitch is useless. Useless. Okay, you them. know those humans that they <clears throat> they were wearing like these purple robes and shit. They like yes. came to the iceberg like half a year ago. Took the Jackhorn. <laughs> Normally, a Rathator wouldn't be about it, but for some reason, he was listening to them. And then they took the Jackhorn, and now I haven't seen it. Okay. Okay. Um, do they come here on a regular schedule at all, or do they just come at one time and that's it? Um. You guys are the first people I've seen since then, so read into that. Is I never learned how to read. Do you have any suggestions for dealing with the dragon or any way you could help us? Um, I mean, don't use cold magic because he has immunity to that. But y'all are probably going to die anyways, and I'm doomed to be, like, his bargaining chip for his mate. So have fun with your life. I think mine's settled already. What do you mean, by, thing is so what do you mean by bargaining chip? Or we could kill her. Um, so Arathator, like, so I'm, you guys know that dragons are, like, pretty rare, right? Yes. So, like, it's kind of hard for them to find a mate, um, cause, you know, people be killing dragons out there. So, there's this other dragon, she happens to be a female, or Rathator's into that shit. But this bitch has been in a depressive mood for the last eon, I'm telling you. She ha- so she worked with this wizard guy, right? And the, the wizard- Oh my god. So- like, the wizard guy died or whatever, and she doesn't believe he's dead, even though he's a fucking skeleton riding her. And, like, she Hot. won't come to terms with it, so Arathator's like, look, here's a shiny new wizard for you that you can serve, and now he's trying to get it in with her. But wow, first he needs me to translate this magic doodles. Um... How often does that dragon come by? Never. I don't have to deal with two dragons at once. You think she would come to this pad? 
Yikes. You, it's, you did say this was his favorite lair, so I'm assuming it's the nicest one. Yeah, but she doesn't live here. Doesn't mean she can't visit. They're pretty fucking solitary, you know. With it, dragons trying to protect their hordes and shit. They don't like to let other dragons know where they live. Do you have any recommendations on us killing Rathas right now? Fucking use a lot of damage. But you, you must know... God, do I have to do everything for you? And then she pulls out this chest. Um... And she's like, okay, so you guys are bent on fighting this guy. All right. Um, which one of you gets hurt a lot? I'm currently at 8 HP. Okay, here you go, honey. And she pulls out a ring um, and gives it to you. The ring is made of this cold steel with a blue hue to it. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, that's a ring of resistance to cold. So you're welcome. Because, I mean, it really doesn't that. matter if he breathes cold on you, because you'll probably die anyways. But, you know, it'll be a less harsh death. A little more tolerable. Why did you turn into a valley girl? <laughs> <laughs> so what? I forgot how to speak to people. Like, what am I supposed to do? I've been talking to kobolds for the past three years. That's understandable. Yeah, look at these fuckers. Wait, that's pretty racist right shits. there. Not gonna lie. And I give Spurt Three a whop on the nose, a little light tap. Mm. <laughs> look at Mr. Muscles. Um. <laughs> anyways, uh, uh sh should we be concerned about her obvious uh, attraction to Spurt? I mean, there's only been kobolds here, so take that as you will. I was talking about hunky one-eyed man over there. Yeah. Uh. But, um, <laughs> where did you go to university? Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah. Bitch, I grew up in the fucking woods. Ugh, I'm so over university. it. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, I got these two super dangerous things. Um, any of you an archer? Uh, I have a longbow. I have a longbow without any arrows. I mean, I will throw the arrow. Okay, so these are only arrows that will work in a longbow. Lame. Yeah, crossbows you chuck it really hard? bolts. Okay, um, here you go, honey. I guess you get everything, because you're special like that, and you're worth it. Anyways, <laughs> here, okay. take these, and she hands over two arrows. But these arrows are um, the stones... Inside the uh, arrowhead are pure white, and there's runic magical script on them that glow. Ooh. Yeah, so um, these are arrows of slaying. Make sure you hit with them, because it would be really unfortunate to lose such a great piece of magic. I agree. Um... Abraham, you're you're a, a technically a ranger, right? Uh, technically, yes. Do you have a longbow? I do not. Are you are I you thought proficient? He was a wizard. Longbows? I I do not have a longbow now. No, are you proficient in longbows? Oh, uh, I misunderstood. Um. I mean, Abraham will try just about anything. I mean, let's be honest. I'm pretty much good at whatever I try. But um, to answer your question, I don't know. No, think so. he is not. Yeah. Uh, well, never mind then. I mean, like, I'll still take it. Well, I'm, I'm just trying uh, to see if anybody is proficient in longbows. So it would probably be more I for them. I think I am. Ah. Dirk is not proficient in longbows. Yeah. <clears throat> We're all worthless. We're just what? like the valley girl. Literally, none of you are proficient in longbows. Not one of you. Has I am proficient in making lizard friends. <laughs> you mean demon friends. No! <laughs> Too Aww. soon. Um, okay, so... 
shit. How do we... Um, okay. Well, it seems like y'all are on a suicide mission, which is fine and all. But if you do survive, um, really inv invest in some bracers of archery, okay? That'll for sure go on the list. Because they will make you proficient in longbows and shortbows, even if you don't have it. And, yeah... Just... Sounds like you need to make a trip back to Pacha's store. I just Are you sure feel you I'm, I this? feel like I'm worried about you all because you don't really mm. you don't seem organized, and this is seems like a really dangerous thing that you're doing. Do you, I mean? We've done pretty dangerous. Is there any way for us to avoid the, the fancy lair? Like, that, that I'm surprised around. none of you are dead yet. I, I there was one Abraham. great warrior called Henry. He, he did not make I, it, though, sadly. I mean, it but, like... Abraham ago, he actually did die one time. He came back. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, death is something of an old friend. A little more interesting, um, but, like, I'm talking about of you all here. Like, this is everyone you came with, right? No one's died yet except for um, Half-Boy over there. And she points over to Milton's body. I saw the... Uh. I mean, again, I have definitely died. I just, you know, got better. Um, we do have another friend who jumped down a hole. Um, oh, dear Lord. Okay. Um, Y'all need to go now. Like, go save your friend because there's magical traps and shit. And I he's, completely agree. Let's leave. And if he's dumb enough to jump down a hole, he's definitely dumb enough to trip some traps. So go. <laughs> uh, to Chen, lead them down that chamber. There's going to be a hole in the ground. Just, Just go. Do you, do you have any... Um, Jump down the hole? Cut back any... to... Alberto. Oh, boy. As you round this corner... Wait, I never said I was rounding any damn corner. As you make oh, it to wait, the I corner... Okay. If the, when this, um, once you get to this part where the, um, the passageway narrows... Um, all of a sudden, your movement s comes to a slithering pace and suddenly you're moving as if your body was made of molasses molasses so uh right now your speed is halved and you uh take a minus two pel penalty to ac and dexterity saving throws and you can't use your reactions and on your turn, you can either use an action or a bonus action, not both. And um, regardless of your abilities or magic items, it can't you can't make more than one melee attack or ranged attack. Uh, is that all? Yeah, and you're <laughs> yeah, just that's pretty, that's a, that's a pretty incredibly weak slow. Right there. That's and at, right all of a sudden, you hear the roar. Okay, I don't know why I, that was great timing, but um, <laughs> you hear the roar of a dragon. And all of you upstairs also hear the roar of a dragon. And Macass like, oh god, it's too late. Um, okay, well, have a fun rest of your lives. Um... You know, just... I'll enjoy these next 15 minutes a lot. Just, uh, you know... Uh, at least you'll look good dead. As she looks can to I, you, Shay. I do an arcana check to see if I can't not be spelledified. Sure. Cool. <laughs> Such technical characters. I got a 18, I think. I think I'm plus six, so it's eight. Um, you don't think you could dispel this magic yourself? Oh, someone else got to do it? Perhaps someone with dispel magic. Ah, oh, I wonder who has got that. I'm going to walk slowly forward as if I was made of molasses. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, I guess we're zooping down the hole. Um, but we don't know where this hole goes. Oh my god. You don't need to know where the hole goes. You just jumped I... down the hole. 
I think we I should go like back to the hole that he jumped down in the first place and jumped down that hole. <laughs> Jesus, you think so complicated. I would like to go up to the hole and do It's fine. Your friend's probably dead now anyways. That's a spirit. This hole's closer to us. Let's just use this hole. If he is That's... still alive, this one's probably going to get us to him sooner. Can Okay, so, but before you do that, um, is there anybody that should have the ring of cold if you're that close to death? What was that? Is there anybody that should have the ring of cold resistance? Um, if you're that close to Lipper's trying to hold over to all the magic items. No, I didn't ask for it. Tim, Tim, question. Is there such thing as a double resistance? <laughs> no. Technically, yes. What happens? You Does just, twice? you take a quarter damage rather than full damage. I give the ring to Lauren and tell him to use it with care. <laughs> So Jeez, Bjorn, a uh, wrong, go to your equipment wrong. and add a uh, ring of resistance cold. You should be able to find it. Second. <clears throat> I'm also removing it from my... I'll miss you cold resistance that I had for... I can't get rid of this. Oh no. <laughs> so like y'all are taking a long time and now I see why um, Dum Dum over there is dead. Um, but if you don't hurry up, Dum Dum down there will be dead. So, I, uh, um, guys, if we do not talk about Milton that way. If we uh, jump down the I hole aggressively to try and d disprove what she said about us being cold or slow, being the reason for Milton's death, uh, go up to the hole, sit on the side of it like I'm trying to like dip my feet into a swimming pool and slide down the side of the hole. Is it is it a slide or a drop? Because I can use Featherfall to get us down there. Definitely a drop. Okay, so I want to cast, uh, as we're all surrounding the hole, I want to cast um, Featherfall. Okay, level. so all of you go to the hole? Yes. All right, I'll just stay right here. Come with us, Bert 3. Nope, you're coming. I feel like that's a bad idea. Come on, Bert uh, nope. 3, it'll be fun. What is fun? Going um, down the hole with uh, us. Bert 3. <laughs> all right, and you all jump. We. Uh, cut two. Let's just go ahead and remove this then. Oh. Oh boy. And you guys land here. Oh. God damn it. And oh boy. All of a sudden, Alberto, you see a huge fucking dragon coming to you. I would like to speak in Draconic and be like, Hello, illustrious dragon. I'm a representative from Tiamat, and I'd like to invite you to the Council of the Dragon. As you think you're saying this really quickly, you're actually saying, Hello, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> Are you wearing your dragon mask? I, yeah, I'm wearing my mask. Okay, just making sure. Ba, 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 ba. Is he at least interested in me speaking Draconic? Um, Not as interested as somebody who's been learning Italian. You have advantage against charisma checks against black dragons, not, not this dragon. dragon three. The dragon flies all the way to you. And perches itself right in front of you. Can we see this? No. Oof. You guys can see 60 feet around you as you land on this very slippery ice. Tiamat so, would like What to do we have here? Invite you to the Council of the <sighs> stop, talk, stop, 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 stop <laughs> talking. <laughs> the spell will wear off in another 30 seconds. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> and who might you be? Let me guess. You are 
an adventurer? I am a messenger. And what do I own the pleasure to? You owe the pleasure to TMI. No, okay. <laughs> he would like and to... And why would Tiamat communicate with you? Because I am his loyal servant, his top slayer, and here you can see my sword Hazaron, or I call Haz. And I take out Haz and show him the dragon. How do you do? But you can't hear me, so speak for me, Alberto. Haz says what's up. That, oh, God, it's a little more cordial than that. <laughs> yes, but why don't you wear the same robes as the rest of the cult? Because in order to get here, I had to improvise my outfit. Make a deception check. Are they getting closer to me as I talk with the dragon? I don't know. They haven't said a fucking word. Well, you were having a conversation, but the answer is yes. <laughs> yes we're moseying our way on over. I got a 13. Probably had to spell. A 13? Yeah. Oh boy, let's see what this dragon rolls. <sighs> you think I would be fooled by that? Yes. Uh, <laughs> anybody with the truth as the truth is my best friend. Oh, God. <laughs> Make another uh, deception check with disadvantage. Boo, you just want me oh, dead. Boy. So, I don't, like... I want to leave the group this way before this like before the feather fall wears off. Um, I want to be going. Where's my character? Now you my servants have oh, told me that there's ten. multiple of you. Where are your friends? Uh, talk about uh, Haz. Yeah, guy that got ripped in half. Haz is my best friend. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that an inanimate object is your best friend. He speaks to me. Oh, no. I'm, like I'm sure he does. <laughs> now, I, I like to kneel. Are, are you me. lost? Do you need help? I would like. Wait, is there like a Taco Bell? Like, wait, where can you point me to? What's down here? <laughs> Why don't I take you to see some very nice people? They're called they're called scrags. They're a okay. lot of fun. Okay. So, why don't I just clutch you in my cl claws here and then I'll take you over there. Can I can I go on your back though? No, no, no. I don't know where why you've not? been. Reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if you're going to there's got there's got to be a lot of sanitization that's going to happen before anything climbs up on here. So, how close are my friends? Well, we're, we're in the difficult over. terrain, they've made it about here. Yeah, oh, god yeah. damn it, guys. Cuz no one said they were dashing. It sounds like a lot of work. That makes can a difference. Can we hear the direction he's in? Like, can we hear this conversation, even if we can't see it? Uh, I don't know, cause they're not really yelling, and there's this giant wall in between all of you. Yeah, I don't want to dash until I know which way we're going. I would like to to buy time. Because they're dashing, right? They're dashing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, will you accept Tiamat's offer to join him in the Council of Dragons? Look, I know you're not here with Tiamat, okay? You don't have to keep bullshitting. I just want to know where your friends are. I literally... I tell you what. You tell me where your friends are. And I will let you live longer. How much longer are we talking? <laughs> uh, uh, 
gosh, how do I want to put this? Longer than them? Okay, so my friends are actually <laughs> it's not nasty. ominous at all. My my friends have actually. I told him to go back to the ship to send out the word that the wizard we're looking for is here. Well, my minions wouldn't let that happen. Well, they're dead. So. Yeah. Oh, the ice hunters. Yeah. All oh, thirty bad, of bad, them. Bad, bad news about the ice hunters. There. They're, Make they're a deception dead. check. As you guys dash, I need you all to make a athletics check. Oh boy! All, all of the stays in the fish gym. I got a sixteen. Uh, not not you, Alberto. Sorry, everyone else. Oh, that was for my deception. Oh, s deception sixteen. Oh no! I dropped the dice. He dropped the soap. Oh no. Oh, not again. <laughs> okay. Oof, 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 oof. Um, so Limper and Dirk, you guys are able to come to a, um, uh, to a full sprint while dashing. The rest of you lose your footing and begin to slide off of the ice here. So that Bjorn, what did you roll? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So Bjorn is safe too. Sorry. Dirk. Uh, and we'll say Spurt also. Uh, Vans. Chan. Shay. Ba ba ba. Is that everyone? What did uh, what did? Yeah, Limper's okay. Yeah. So. Uh, the three of you watch your friends as they begin sliding towards the edge of this ice cliff. Um, this is the end. No. Can you guys make a dexterity saving throw for me? Those of us who are sliding? Yes. Uh, one second. Ooh, I got an Long 18. Fire. Not great. Oh boy. 18? Correct. Uh, right. 16. 16? And what about you, Abraham? Uh, not great. Nine. Okay. Uh, Spurt 3 is able to drag his claws into the um, ice and stop himself. And Chen, you take your... Uh, you take your gauntlet and you drive it into um, the ice, creating enough friction for you to come to a stop. Uh, Shay, <clears throat> you grab onto Spurt's legs and he's like, no, no, don't take me with you. But he's able to hold you both. And then you all watch, uh, you all watch as uh, <laughs> Abraham is ejected off of the, um, off of the, side of the cliff here and when you hit the ground um abraham you take three points of bludgeoning damage ah my ass and then immediately as you hit the ground suddenly the entire passageway becomes filled with this yellow nauseating gas all around you centered from the point where you landed and uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Constitution, what's the solution? It is... Are oh, you fucking kidding me? God damn it. Ah, uh, four. Four? Yeah, I got a one plus three. Okay, so uh, you're going to take um, three points of poison damage, and you are poisoned. God damn it. Um, I'm falling? Cut back to um, Arathator, and you, you hear the clanging of armor hitting ice, Alberto, from the other side of the ridge, and Arathator's... 
just begins to smile this wicked grin full of his long, sharp teeth. And he says, ah, there your friends are. And Arathator is going to dig his claws into here. Look at this group here. Hello. And he says, well, aren't you all a ragtag bunch? Yes. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh no. I got a I got a forty four. Oh, <laughs> the music. The music. Oh boy, this is not great. Guys, I lost my D twenty. <laughs> Things are getting worse. What kind of luck of a day is it if you lose your D twenty? Got one. So. The day that you have to go back to the online dice generator is killed off now. Never again! Never again! Oh. I don't Let's know why. Speak of course. And I need you all to remember that this is all difficult terrain. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy. Aren't we gonna have fun today? Can you, can you give me a quick armor? Surrender? I've never fought in difficult terrain. Uh, Limper, where are you at? I didn't see your... I'm up oh, next okay. to... Yep. Uh, Dirk, Dirk. yep, yep, yep. And Chen with a solid 8. Okay. Now time for Mr. Arathator's roll. Oh, oh boy. boy. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> what if that? Give me some goddamn money! Oh. Where's my fucking money, bitch? <laughs> I swear. Dirty, Mickey. I'll hang you just like I did, Goofy. Dirk, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Each of these squares is 15 feet. Dirk is first gonna yell to spread out, and I'm going is to use. What? And look for clues? Yes. Shut up. Clues? And I'm gonna use- Like Soik's, dude! I'm gonna my motion for on your screen, I'm gonna go left in like a- Do you wanna hide behind here? What? Do you wanna hide behind here? I can't- you sound very quiet. Do you want to hide Wait. behind here? What's here? No, I'm- Actually, I'm going the other way, actually. I'm going to the right on your screen. Okay. 30 feet. Um, so, with difficult terrain, you can only move 15 feet. So you get about here. Alright, I'll do that. And then... Crossbow shots. What's the range um, on your crossbow? 100. Is that with or without... Um, Advantage, disadvantage. That's a regular shot. Okay. Not advantage. All right. But I got a 24. 24 hits. God damn it. Ooh, that's a 13 damage. And second shot. Oh, that's a 13. That's no, not here yet. 13? Yeah. Uh, 13 misses. So what was the first attack? How did it, how much? It was 13, it was 13 damage. 13 damage, okay. Oh god, I hate math. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Dirk yells out to the group, split up gang! And then he pulls out his crossbow, fires two bolts. Uh, so one anyways, of- So I started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, Limper, it is, your turn okay um so i want to take my movement and get like, as close over here as i can which isn't very far admittedly um because of the difficult terrain and then i want to cast uh, out of mic. am i muted no uh, no i can hear him oh. um and then i want to cast absorb elements at the first level okay what does that do uh basically i just resist um uh, damage. I have uh, resistance. Um, to whatever to, damage you say? Yeah, basically. 
It's not like a ton of like strange. different options, but strange. Frost is one of the options. Uh, They're cold, I should There's say. twine somewhere. I think it might be in the closet. Sure. Okay, so you cast Absorb Elements and. Yep. Okay. The store now. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, a bro ham. It's a me. You start your turn in the cloud of um, poison. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> uh, and I believe it's at disadvantage while you're poisoned. Let me double check. Ah, uh, that's not good. I'm gonna switch your condition to poisoned. Oh, you my fucking god. Uh, well, I get seven just as a normal roll. So. Yeah, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Um, Wonderful. So you take four more points of poison damage, and you are still poisoned. Ah, somebody help. I got the cancer. You know, for someone that makes a deal with the devil, you would expect better rolls. Just saying. Uh, I didn't exactly win the fiddle off. Okay. Um... Uh, it's still your turn, Abraham. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. can I can I attack the dragon then? Uh, you are not within range of the dragon. Oh, I can't climb out with uh, climb out of the pit? I thought I could. Uh, is it's, there any way? it's difficult terrain, so n your normal movement is halved. And then any climbing, because the, the guy's up here. Um, these are all different elevations here. So, uh, up here... It seems that, uh, yeah, you're going to need some ability checks to climb. All right, so let's do a athletics check to get the fuck out of here. Okay, so I'd say you can make it about here and you can try to climb up while still in the um, stinking yellow cloud. Damn it. All right, well. So your ability checks are made with disadvantage because you're poisoned. Right. Uh, I get a 13 for athletics. And you fall down and land on your butt. God, shit. Help! Help! As each time you yell for help and breathe deeper, you feel the poison singeing your lungs. Oh, uh, God. I just like to think to myself, Jeff, forgive me. Bjorn, what would you like to do? Um... So, I can only move 20 feet, right? Uh, yes. So I can get, hypothetically, you... like, there, or behind the rock? Yes. I was suggesting you know. behind a rock before he starts breathing down your owl's neck. Oh, no! Don't do that! I, I'm gonna be a pansy and hide with Limper. Okay. Uh, end of your turn. What else can I do? Wait, can I shout someone... Wait, is the terrain actually difficult, or is it, like, magically difficult? It's actually difficult terrain. Okay. Worth a shot. I tried. Okay. Um, oh. At the end of Bjorn's turn, it's going to use a wing attack. No one's close enough, so no one takes any damage. But the dragon beats his wings and flies up out of the air and is going to land here. Ooh. Why does Tim hate me? Like, I make him action, and Tim just purposely tries to fuck with me. And, uh, the dragon's gonna breathe cold in a 60-foot cone. So, oh, let's see. Spread out. Wait, do I have cover there? Uh, you do have cover. Specifically nice. requested the opposite of this. <laughs> so, <laughs> 60 feet is four and a half. So... Oh, man. Oh, Abraham's out of range. And, Dirk, you... Uh. We'll say you're covered, Dirk. I just realized I could have raged. I'm an idiot. See, I, I wind up the attack. Day, I brace but... against the wall. Yeah, you should have told me. I completely forgot that's an option. I thought you knew your character. Uh -oh. Guys. Burn. I feel uh, my head's like up in the sky right now. I have no clue what's okay, happening. Okay. I feel so, so sick. Okay. Before your birthday. 12. How are we going to get you? Or 16. Oh, 20, 22, 25, 
Wait, don't they make, like, saving throws? Yeah, all of you make constitution saving throws except for Abraham, Dirk, and Alberto. Lucky me. I think Shay yeah. goes down no matter what. Uh, natural 20. Yeah, I rolled four for my constitution save. So, I, I have the resistance. Um, so, if I save, does resistance stack with that? Yes. Okay. I rolled a 19. I don't think I have any pluses in my constitution. Um, oh, I have a plus one, so a uh, non-natural 20. Oh, is it a constitution save? Yes. It's non-natural 20? Yes. Okay. Can you guys actually hey. just tap it out? Because so, yeah. that would be easier for me. I did. Yes. Thank you, Cliff. Okay, Bjorn, you fail. Shay With fails. With a 17? Really? Yes. With a 4? With a 17? With a 4? Spurt 3 fails. No! As you all take 47 points of cold damage. Okay. Halved um. for um, Limper, so that's 23. And halved for Chen, so 23. And then how does resistance so, work with that? Um, so you would take half of 23, so it would be 11. So uh, with taking damage when you're down, yes. Not, if you take enough damage to put you over half of your HP in the negative, that's an auto death, right? Some say half, some say uh, full damage after death. Okay, because okay, uh, my max so... is 51. Um, with the 8 HP that I currently have, I'm taking 39 points in the negative. Yeah, so you're unconscious. Okay. Nice. Uh, and Spurt is a Spurt the third is immediately frozen in place. <laughs> I can't wait to find Spurt the fourth. <laughs> All right. Um... And then it is the dragon has his movement still. So the dragon's going to move and f fly in the air over here. Uh, now it is uh, Shay's turn. Death saving Death throw. Save. Uh, 16. All right. That's one save. Nice. Uh, Chen. Chenny Chen Chen. Muted. Oh, sorry, I was muted. Can you hear me now? Chen, yep. Chen. Well, this is not so great. Well, they have take they take time to regenerate their ice breath. So if you can get a mass healing, he only has his physical attacks for a few turns. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out for mass healing how how long it takes. She mass healing is a bonus action, so I'll cast that first. Okay, what's the range on uh, it? Sixty feet. Okay, so that's, that's everyone. About two tiles, right? Uh, no. three, four His tiles. His range was sixty. Four tiles. So, if so you, you oh, so everyone's yeah, in chain. Right, yeah. right. Sorry, I got it backwards. Okay. Um. All right. Four one three, four plus five. That is nine health. Okay. Everybody gets nine Everyone health. gets nine health. Shay, you immediately wake up. Good morning. Does everyone include me? Yes. And Yay. Spurt gets back up too, right? <laughs> right? Spurt, Spurt's still frozen, solid, just in a block of ice. His eyes bug eyed, his mouth agape. Um, and then I'm the rest of your turn, out. Chen? Yeah, I'm just checking something. I was checking the distance of something. I mean, half this cave, this, I can't do, like, half my spells. This is no fun. Power word kill. Spell it, if you have a dispel. Have you guys ever heard of lair actions? Yeah. yeah. I don't lair actions are. Oh, I do not let, no. Lair actions are bad. Do not want. I do not want this. I've heard of them, but I think they're too difficult that we maybe shouldn't include them. Oh, who knows what will happen. 
at the news. What does Google um, tell me? I mean, I guess I'm gonna... So... Hmm. I could attack or I could fog cloud and make this worse. Don't make this worse. I say attack. Alright, I'm just doing a guiding bolt at him. Okay. For a probably not great. And it's a 22 to hit. 22 hits. That guided bolt always hits. You oh. gather holy energy in your gauntlet and outstretch your hand, sending a bolt of 14 damage. white light towards... Uh, you. <laughs> towards Arathator, hitting him for 14 damage. His body now glows in the dark, um, and the next attack on him will have advantage. All right. I that's all I can do. Uh, Alberto. I dash towards 20. Towards 20? Over this way? Yeah. So you can make it two spaces with uh, dash. Question, that wall is, impre like, he can't climb over that wall by any chance, can he? Alberto? Yeah. He could try. But Like, is it feasible? It, I would have to roll a disadvantage, so it's like I'd be wasting a bunch of turns to possibly climb over me. Why do you have to roll with disadvantage? Because he told me to. Oh, the slow spell ended. But it's difficult terrain, I thought. Yeah. Oh, it is. Di Did I tell you that? I thought yeah. that was for the slow spell only. No, it was difficult to terrain, and I had to roll a disadvantage. Let me read up on difficult terrain real quick. Sorry. How dare you not all know all the rules up and down perfectly. I know, I know, I'm a bad boy. I didn't even spell difficult right. It's difficult to spell. <laughs> oh, it's because you guys don't have, um, like, ice walking gear. That's oh, why it's at disadvantage. As if we had ice walking gear? Yeah, I thought we had, like, all, this, all the winter gear we needed from the boat. You had snowshoes. Snowshoes don't help you walk on ice. Well, regardless, I did my dash. Uh, yes. So, Dirk, it's your turn. Um, in that case, these squares are you uh, where do you go? He said these squares are five? Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, okay. In that case, I'm going to walk. Just Wait, to where I, I'm... If I dash and each block is only 15, how come I only got to move two squares? Because that's 30 feet in difficult Whoa. terrain. Whoa, isn't... Wait, what, what is difficult terrain? You minus what? Difficult terrain means you move half your movement. Oh, okay. Never ha mind. Uh, what was that, Dirk? Okay, first I'm going to move 15 feet down... Wait, no. So you want to climb down? Oh, actually. I'm just going to move towards... Fuck. I'm going to move two squares left towards the dragon just so where I can peek out and take a couple shots at him. So you're going to dash. Do so I have to to, be, to be able to get a shot? To move two, yes. Oh. In that case, I'm just going to move... Fuck. Get out of my way, you fucking people. Um, is there anywhere I can get to without dashing and still take a shot? Um, right in front of... You can hide behind Spurt. And still take a shot? Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, I'll allow it. Alright, that's what I'm doing. I'm using Spurt as cover. I'm gonna say Spurt gives you half cover. <laughs> use the Spurt pillar and take a shot for the eyeballs. That's a 16. 16 misses. Yeah. As your bolt goes flying out of range. Second shot. Aim small, miss Ooh. small. 24. 24 hits. Thirteen. Thirteen, alright. And I use the 
Did I use the full extent of my motion? Uh, you got maybe five feet left. I'm just gonna eat behind that wall cover. This one? Yeah, just so way that you won't be able to. The dragon. Okay, so like this way, you mean? Yeah, upwards. Okay, so now it looks like Chen shot at him. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Push the blame, push the blame. <laughs> Limper. Tactical movement, boys. Okay, so, um, like, I know I'm behind the pillar, but I don't know the shape of the pillar. So, like, if I were to move kind of up towards this corner right here, would I have a shot on him? Or no, not? the pillar's too tall. Okay, um. So imagine well, all this white space is eight feet taller than you. Yes, but is he? So is the dragon still flying, or is he on the ground? He is flying. He is flying. Yes. So is, he, is he flying higher than the pillar? No, he's like hovering. He moved out of view of you guys. That was his intention. Okay. Because um, this is lower than you guys, so he's hovering above where Abraham would be, but he's not above this. Yeah. I, okay. Um. Can I take a pot shot around the corner, or is that a no? Uh, it's a full 15 of movement from there to here. Yeah, so you could, you could could get a shot, it. and then you would have, let's say, half cover, but you wouldn't have any movement to move back. Okay, that's, that's fine, as long as I can get a shot off. So I'm going to peek around the corner, because I'm a small boy. And I am going to, um, kind of like in Full Metal Alchemist, where not Mustang this time, but the guy who has the tattoo on on his arm. Um, how he kind of just like pushes his arm out with his palm facing outwards towards the dragon, and I'm going to cast a Scorching Ray at the fourth level. Scorching Ray. I just fireball him. Um, because if I fireball him, he can make a Dex save and negate like basically everything. So mathematically, it's just a better chance of hitting. Um, so that is uh, four rays, no, five rays, um, because it's the fourth level, and every slot above two, I get an extra ray for. Um, so I am going to roll for the five shots first. Okay. And then I'll do damage from there. Um, so five shots. Uh Ray number one, ah, 12. That Miss. Um, ray number two, 22. Hits. Number three, 20, 25. Hits. Um, 23. Hits. 23. Yeah. Oh, no. Hits. Did not, that one was uh, um, and then non natural 20. Hits. Okay, so that is four, four of them. Shots. Yeah, um, and so each one, if I read this right, should be two d six. Yeah, so a total of eight d six. Yep. Okay. Can I pull up hand Which would have been the same as a fireball. Uh, yes, but roll! Damn it! If the <laughs> so rude, so so hurry into the man. Who's rolling and why? Limper. I'm rolling. I hope he does 500 damage. Uh, 34 points of fire damage. Nice! Is he burned? Does he lose attack power? Um, probably not. Hopefully he has a choice scarf so he gets a plus to uh, condition. <clears throat> you blast five rays at Arathator, four of them connecting, and you can see uh, some of his scales begin um, to shine as you melt the ice that was kind of stuck to his exterior, and you begin to scorch his actual scales um, closer to uh, closer to his wings. Um, but he still um, flies through your attack. 
So we've done like 50 some odd damage, right? Something like that. S 64. Ooh. I know, I've done a total of 26. I've done a death save roll. My turn. Uh, and then Limper, that's the end of your turn. So, Abraham. Uh, uh right, make got, a constitution saving dodge. throw. Right. Nice. I believe in you. The dice believe in me. Alright, um, plus three, 17. Okay, you're no longer poisoned. Huzzah! Uh, and you uh, are able to hold your breath um, so you don't inhale any more of the stinking yellow cloud. Okay, I'm gonna do an epic athletic uh, show of force to get out of this fucking hole. Okay. Uh, I shall once again roll my 20. Yes! The dice are with me once more. Uh, plus four, so 19. You climb up. Ah! Abraham is back, bitches! <laughs> You're celebrating just climbing you got, You guys watch as a, you see a fish hand come out of the yellow smoke and pull out the rest of your triton friend. And as he, um, he escalates on the other side of the ridge. Did you miss me? Yes. Great. You should have. Do something useful. Let's fuck up this dragon. And uh, I draw one of my two long swords and uh, get my ass into battle. Can, um. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you Can run? You uh, I do run. I dash. I dash away, dash away, dash away. Oh. Well, you can't dash because you use your action to climb. But Damn it. you can get there. Alright, I get there with a flourish. Um, and, uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. I wanted to use a bonus action, I thought. Maybe not. Alright, that's my turn. Alright, Bjorn. Well, as a barbarian, I really don't know how to fight a flying creature. So, I'm going to go to this edge where Limper is and pull him back into cover. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Alright, you use your action to pull him into cover. Alright, as you end your turn, um, Arathator is going to use his legendary um, action to use a wing attack to fly over here. And he's going to attack uh, Limper. Out that. Oh, I and also me. he's going to make a uh, reach. He's going to try to recharge his uh, cold breath. He does not. Um, well, we should be fine now then. So then, um. ah! limper. This is the first attack as he makes a swipe at you with. Actually, he's going to use his frightful presence first. So. Everyone that can see him, which is everyone except for Alberto, make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, what the fuck? Um. Haha! <laughs> Everybody but Alberto? Everybody but Alberto. Okay. What is my wisdom? Oh. I'll be right back. Plus two. But I mean mine. Mine was a negative one. Oops. Wrong thing. Did we type um. them in yet, boys and girl? I, I did. Uh, question. Who's stupid um, now? Can I can I get a reaction? Uh, that's just his legendary action. That's not even. Uh, well, actually, that's the beginning of his turn. Um, Wait, technically, he moved it within range of me. Do I get a uh, reaction attack as well? No, that's if he moves. He moved into your range, not through it. So when you move out of someone's melee range, that's when you get an attack of opportunity. He's technically moving through it to attack Limper, but I'm done. I rest my case. Do you have Do you have Sentinel? I have pizza that I will offer the DM. If you don't have Sentinel, then the answer is no, because Chen has a feat that allows him to do so. Limper, what was the reaction that you wanted to take? Was it an attack or because that you? No, it was it was Misty Step. Um, that's oh, let me read. Misty Step's a bonus action, I thought. Um, let me look back at this. It's not a reaction, it's a bonus well. action. Uh, where's my... Where's my... Uh. Oh. 
I yeah, I can do on. opportunity. I can do opportunity attack, absorb elements, feather fall, counter spell. Um, right, is is his attack? This is a uh, frightful presence. Yeah, this is just frightful presence. Yeah. Um, but because he's in. There, so this is an frightful. aura. So Shay fails. You're frightened. Bjorn, you rolled a fifteen. You're fine. Chen's fine. Uh, Abraham, you're frightened. Um, Limper is good. Dirk is good. Um, so Shay and um, a zoink, Scoob. Abraham, you guys are frightened, which means you cannot move any closer to the source of your fear, and you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of fear is in sight. Lovely. All right. And then here comes a claw attack, uh, Limper. Um, it's a natural one, but plus 11, so 12. I have 13 thanks to the bracers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the first thing that hasn't hit. Holy so... shit. The fact that only a natural one doesn't hit, though. So Bjorn pulls you right out of the way of the dragon's claws. But a second set of claws comes towards you, which is a natural 20. Woo! I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, but can I... Oh, wait, no. Um... If I pull him out of the way, wouldn't I pull him so I would be in the way and take the hit for okay. him? Okay. So I rolled two sixes on d6s. So 30 points of slashing damage. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And then he's going to attempt to bite you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. 28 to hit? <laughs> See, why do you even ask at that point? Well, you know, <laughs> you just it's want to rub just... it in. And it is what it is. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. That's 25 piercing damage. I'm unconscious. Plus one point of cold damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm unconscious. All right. Does Chen get a reaction because of the sentinel thing? Uh, Chen is not within melee range. Ooh, can he be, though? <laughs> if Chen had moved closer, he could have been. Is what I get for not planning ahead. And then it is uh, Shay's turn. Shay, you are frightened. I'm running away. Okay. Um, Dashing? In the... Into this uh, corner? Yeah. Yes. All right. In this economy? <laughs> well, that was that was one. So do you want to jump down or are you climbing up here? Um, I'm just going to cower in the corner because I don't want to jump into the poison. Okay, Shay is cowering. Uh, Chen, it is your turn. Oh, well, now I can go forward, right? Yep. I go right up to him. Inflict wounds with your yes. fucking thing. <laughs> 60 points of damage. At a third level? Miss, 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 miss. Right, hold on, one second. Hold on, I'm having difficulty checking off my spell slots for some reason. There we go. And it's... <coughs> excuse me. It's, uh... 17 plus... Yeah, the 17 plus uh, something is gonna hit. I think it's plus 8. Plus 8, yeah. Check. Yeah. Channel uh, Divinity for 50 damage. 50 damage. Damn. Oh, boy. Wait, what did you cast? Inflict Wounds. Oh, inflict Wounds, and then I use Channel Divinity to make it do max damage. Nice. Okay. I have a bad feeling so going about to take a lot you of damage. touch uh, the dragon, and uh, as you do, necrotic energy uh, flows from your hand and immediately begins to crack and absorb all the moisture from um, the scales that you touch, opening a sore on the dragon's underbelly. Um, but then he's going to make a legendary action what will you no do? um yeah he's gonna make a wing attack 
Me? Or so anyone that's within 10 feet of the dragon must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. So that'd be uh, you, Bjorn, and Limper. So Limper oh, automatically oh. fails. So Limper takes uh, takes two death saving fails. Oh, that, yeah, because you, if you get an attack while you're down, makes two death saving de uh, fails. Um... So then, Bjorn, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw and Chen a dexterity saving throw. I please. typed it already. Okay. Typed mine. Uh, both of you fail. All right. What well, are we supposed to I'm roll? To do Wrath of the Storm. Uh, um, it's still technically your turn because this is his legendary action. So you, Wrath of the Storm is a reaction. An okay, just making sure. Um, so you guys are going to take 11 points of bludgeoning damage, and you are knocked prone, both of you. Then Wrath of the Storm, so it's a deck 16 save. Deck 16 save? Yes. For what save? For Wrath of the Storm. Yeah, but what, what type? Dex. Dex, okay. Uh... 16. Alright, so he only takes 3 damage. Lame. That stung a channel little divinity. bit. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> channel divinity. That stung a little bit. Um, and he will then, uh, with the wing attack, he gets to fly away. No! There we Why? go. Why? Is that like... Oh, actually, I thought... Hold Doesn't on. a wing attack take 2 actions? Uh, it costs two legendary cool. actions, yes, but, uh, so it gets a- it flies off of the ground and can fly up to half its flying speed away. Oh, I should have done sentinel attack instead, because that could have stopped its speed. It, it could have, but now it is, Can uh, I get a shot at him as a reaction? Uh, no. Because it wasn't within range of you. Alberto, dashing? No. Dash, yeah, I mean, that's one, all I can do. two. Maybe you should have let him carry you. Uh, Dirk. Right, I guess I'd peek out again and take a couple shots. Hiding behind <laughs> Spurt? Yep, Tact tactfully. That's a uh, math 19. Okay. Four. 19 hits. God damn. Four damage. Alright. Second he shot. He dies. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nine. Nine's gonna miss. Do yeah, you move anywhere or do you stay behind Spirit? I put the pillar between me and the dragon again. Alright. As Shay cowers in the corner. Um, people. With her arrows of dragon slaying. Uh, it would be Limper's turn. Limper, death saving throw. Oh, he's dead. As he die, we lost Limper. Oh, 19. Oh, we didn't lose Limper. So that's two saves, two fails, right? Or just one save? Just one save. Oh, yeah, one, one save, save two thing. fails. All right. Yeah, one save, two fails. You're telling me there's a chance. Abraham. Yeah. It's a me. You're still I frightened. I have to kind of run away as well, unfortunately. Um, Don't you have healing word or something? I have healing word. I, I, I have healing uh, something, but I don't think it helps against us. Oh, so. wait, Shay, at the end of your turn, uh, make a wisdom saving throw to see if you're not frightened anymore. Well, the healing will literally just bring up Limper, so... Well, it's at the end of her turn, so it doesn't... She wouldn't have been able to... Well, never... A... It doesn't matter what it was. I rolled a natural three. Okay, yeah, you failed that. Um, so, uh, you can't move closer to your source of fear, Abraham. You don't have to right. run away. Okay, uh, tell me just, like, tell me just, like, five feet back so I'm within a safe distance, but can, uh, can I still shoot at him with a crossbow? Uh, depends on the range of your crossbow. Because he's one death sail away from death. He has cure wounds, not healing word. Oh. I have healing word. So oh, okay. Uh, my crossbow has a range of 30 feet. Should be okay. 30 feet is there. 
Oh, or not. You could shoot with disadvantage to 60 feet, which is there. Well, guys, I'm kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> useless as per usual. Uh, I guess that's it for me. Oh. I'll, I'll take it, but I'll do a wisdom saving throw to see if I'm frightened. Yes. Okay. God damn it. I got a three plus two, five. I got a five. <laughs> that's not going to be enough. Curse my lack of wisdom. Uh, Bjorn. You're holding the... <laughs> The limp body of the limper. Stabilized limper? I don't know what to do. And I rage? Uh, I keep getting hit? Okay, so you rage. Um, Do you have a medicine kit? No, I do not. Okay, so you can make a medicine check. The DC will be higher without a medicine kit. Yeah, I'm not making that check, but okay. Why not? Let's try. Hey, 19 minus 1, 18. 18? Yep. S Bjorn um, rips off uh, parts of his dirty clothes and begins to tie up all the holes that are within, uh, <laughs> within Limper's body. And you manage to stop most of the bleeding. Woo. So uh, I, I will I, say I Lim a... Limper is stabilized. Nice. Um, I have a question. Okay. Um, so I don't really know how this works. I have a potion of gaseous form. Yeah. Um, that's good for up to an hour. Uh-huh. Uh, if, if, if I have gaseous form, does that mean that, like, he can't hit me? Because I'm in gaseous form? Uh... Don't run away, you coward. It's not about running away. It's about surviving long enough to toss spells. Oh, once you get up, just cast Fireball and kill him. It's, yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing is a lot of health. Uh, you've done like over 100 damage. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like it's hurting at all for us doing that 100 damage. Is it hurting, Tim? Uh, yeah, it's hurt. That was very high-pitched and not actually hurting Tim. The spell ends, the creature drops to zero hit points, an incorporeal creature is infected. When flying with a speed of 10, the target can enter and occupy the space of another creature. Target has resistance to non-magical damage. It has advantage on strength, dexterity, and constitution saving throws. The target can pass through small holes, narrow openings, and even mere crafts and trees. Uh, on this form, the cart can't talk or manipulate objects carrying either was carrying or holding can't be dropped, used, or otherwise interacted with. Target can't. The target can't attack or cast spells. Oh shit! Okay, never mind. And it seems like you would still take damage. It doesn't say anything about not taking damage. It was worth an ask. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, D and D Beyond. Uh, what would you like to do on the end of your turn, Bjorn? Anything else? Oh, you raged already for your bonus action. Okay. Enemy's turn. So let's see if he recharges his breath weapon. He does not. So then... Let's see. Eight feet... Thing back or so help me, so help me, so help me, and stop! Abraham. What's good in the hood? It's already back to me. Nope. Yeah, he's attacking you. Uh, it's gonna use another Frightful Presence, so everyone make another uh, Wisdom Saving Throw, except for Shay yeah. and Abraham, because you guys are already um, frightened. And limper, your eyes aren't open. Yeah, I'm not. I'm knocked out. Dirk with the 17. That's that's a save. A boy. He's a very brave boy. Shay. The, the bravest of boys. Chen. 
What we got? You told me not to roll since I'm already scared. Oh, can't that's true. Uh, Chen. Bjorn. Uh, 12. That's a fail, and Chen is frightened. Bjorn. Ook. You said dex, right? Not, or was it int? Uh, it was wisdom. Oh, sorry. That I... Am I supposed to roll something? 18, then. Am I supposed to roll something? Wisdom saving throw. Okay, okay. 18, sorry. 18, you're fine. Yeah. You're okay. not frightened. I definitely mixed it up. I fail. Okay. So, uh... Bjorn is frightened. Everyone else is okay. Um, Abraham. There's a big mouth coming towards you. Leave me alone. That's a 23 to hit. Uh, no. Abraham is invincible. <laughs> and that is... Uh, 16 plus 6. 22 points of piercing damage. 22? Along with 1 point of cold damage. That's just weird. And then two claws coming at you from the underground. Uh, that's that's a, a 15 and a 26. No. Do they both hit? Uh, they, yes, they both hit because my armor class sucks. Can Terry come through? Uh, probably shouldn't be using Terry very much right now given how well that's worked out for me in the past. It's worked out well, I think. It happened once, and I immediately signed over another contract. First one is 11 points of slashing damage. The second one is uh, 14 slashing damage. 13 and 14? 11 and 14. 11 and 14. Well, guys, I'm in a world of doo-doo. All right, Same, and buddy. that's the end of his turn. Shay. Um, I am holding myself in the fetal position in the corner, and Limper's still, like, knocked out, right? Yes. I am, as, I am also. Yes, I'm, yeah. Okay, uh, well, um, Limper, you're stable at least. I'm going to go ahead and, I'm also singing this to myself, but mostly just to make myself feel better, I'm not doing anything, but I'm going to sing... Terry McLaughlin's Arms of the Angel towards um, Abraham, and I'm going to cast a third level, second level healing word on you. Huzzah! Uh, from from an order from an order of operations standpoint, um, because uh, no, um, Dirk goes before me, but Chen goes before the dragon goes again. So, but I go before the dragon goes again, and so if you wake me up, I can fire spells, and then Chen could maybe save Abraham before it's Abraham's turn again? I agree. Plus, Abraham has already made deals with the devil, so, uh... True. Yeah, okay, I'll send that towards Limper, then. Limper's more useful. Um, <laughs> wow. And we'll see if Abraham holds up his end of the deal or suffer the consequences. Um, Limper, you pop back up with 8 HP. Gracias. Because other otherwise my turn's just completely blown. Yeah, I understand. Good point. Uh, and that's my turn. I can't really. Well, actually, here, I'm gonna try an acid attack or acid arrow. Um. Okay, it would be with disadvantage. I I'm going to try anyways, because otherwise I'm just going to sit here like a. Terrified. Yep. Terrified. Oh, I got a natural 20 and an 11 plus 5. So 16 to hit? 16 misses. Damn it. Never mind then. I do nothing. I go back to Cow. Wow, she really sucks at archery. <sighs> that wasn't even an archery. That was just a spell. Well, you suck at that too. <sighs> I'm already scared of you. You don't have to be mean. <laughs> and Chen, it's your turn. All right. So, is getting up an action from my memory? Uh, it is, is half your movement. 
which means you would not be able to move because moving anywhere is also half your movement. Yeah, because it's difficult trying. Wait, Dang. no, it would half? So you'd have a speed of 30 and then half of that, so you'd move 7 feet. Yeah, you could technically move 7 feet. Don't cheat us out of that. Well, what is that, yeah. half a square on this? Yeah, basically Four half a square. square. Well, has to be difficult then. All right. Can you stabilize our fishy friend? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. Yeah, just trying to think of the best way to do this. How's everybody else looking for health? Uh, I'm still dead. Arathator's looking good. great. <laughs> I have one more HP than I had at the beginning of this encounter, but it's still less than 10. All right, well, in that case, I'm going to do Mass Healing Word again. Oh, boy. Or... Blowing all the spell slots. Yeah, burn all of them. What is that? Seven health for everybody. Chen, can you let me know... Abraham gets up. Did you ready Revivify? Yes, I did. Do you have a diamond on hand? Uh... I have 300 gold. <laughs> 300 gold isn't necessarily a diamond worth 300 gold. I assume though. somebody in that party does. I do not think I have one listed in my equipment. I'm checking right I have now. a bunch of gems. Oh, I have gems and jewelry, so. Okay. So maybe. We'll see. Pretend one of them is a, 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 gem <laughs> of a diamond or whatever. Yeah. All right. And that was my bonus action. Yes. Did everyone heal? Yes. Yep. How much was it again? I'm sorry. Seven. seven. How much uh, was it? Seven. 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 Okay. Hey, Pacha. How you doing, buddy? Pacha. Oh. Been sleeping all day under all right. the covers because it's And then cold. I'm going to cast a Guiding Bolt at second level. Oh, boy. For a... Uh, 16 to hit. Misses. I'm going to use Luck to reroll that. Okay. For a... 11. <laughs> Does not hit. Does not hit. Use luck again. I'm gonna use luck again. <laughs> Are you For a... A 19 to hit. Yeah! It hits! <laughs> Alright. Mind me burning all my luck slots, like, immediately. Yeah, well, I think this is a good cause. And five, okay. Will be... 18 damage to it. Okay. And well, actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, we're gonna do 18 damage to it. And then the next person that attacks gets advantage. That being said, it's Alberto's turn. Wow. Or do you want to move your seven feet, Chen? Yeah, I'll move seven feet closer to it, even though he's going to fly away like a bitch. <laughs> How dare you try to goad me. <laughs> uh, Alberto, I'm dashing. Not gaming at all. I mean, Is it what working? else can I do? All right, <laughs> dashing. You can do what I'm doing and cry in the people position. <laughs> I prefer to do something. But is there, is there oh, any way to get... Um, at the end of Chen's turn, uh, Arathator is going to make a tail attack using a legendary action against Al uh, Abraham. Hey, but didn't we already move on from that? that... No, it's yeah, I think action. we already moved on from that. Fine. <laughs> he does it at the end of Alberto's turn. I tried. 23 to hit. Plus you're prone, so it'd be with advantage. So, for shits and giggles. Oh, it was a 19, not a natural 20. So, 30 to hit. Which Oof. ends up being... I think he gave up it's a lot of damage. 15 points of bludgeoning damage. As Abraham is knocked unconscious again. God uh, damn it. Uh, now it's Dirk's turn. Um, Dirk's gonna shoot at him. Natural is there, one. Is there any way to get the fancy arrows from Shay? 
I can't walk towards you with them, but I can offer them and my longbow to you. Is there any way I can actually help? Can I finish my turn, please? No. Second attack. Oop. Second attack was a. Second attack was a twenty-five. Hits. Eleven damage. All right. Uh, and then I'm gonna move behind the pillar, if I can get that far. I don't think so. You almost make it. Eh. Never mind. I don't. Do that. Are you not scared? Nope. You could run to Shay and get the bow with the fancy arrows that can do big damage to the dragon. Hmm. Got a Shay, where's, which one's Shay? Pink. Carrying in the pink? corner. You're pink? Can yep. I get to pink? Uh, no, you can get halfway to pink. I get halfway to pink, and then I yell at pink. <laughs> give me that shit. Okay. Don't yell at me, I'm really sensitive right now. I do not <laughs> care, we are at war! <laughs> With dragons! We will win. Can I be inspired by Dirk's speech? At the end of Dirk's, Dirk's turn, uh, the dragon's going to um, make a wing attack, um, which affects you, Abraham, so you get two death saving throws, and it's going to fly up here next to Shay. Yeah. Um, when when does Shay have to run away from the thing that's closer to her? Is it only on her turn, or is it when the dragon is within a certain distance? Uh, she just can't move closer to it. Herself. She can't use her movement to move closer to the dragon. Okay. Uh, and then Limper's turn. Okay, um, so I'm going to turn to the dragon, and I'm going to cast my final 4th level spot um, for another Scorching Ray. Okay. Because I don't even want to risk hitting my friends. It's never stopped you this... before. Yes, it has. Excuse you. Uh, so, same thing. I'm just going to roll for the hits first. Uh, so that one doesn't hit. Uh, uh, 17? Uh, 17 misses. Damn it. Uh, that one hits. That was a 27. That one hits another 27. Uh, 19? 19 hits. Okay, so that's, you know, 3 out of 5 is better than nothing. To my handy dandy calculator. Uh, 26 points of fire damage. Okay. And... Less than before. You're losing your touch. Well, yeah, I only hit, you know, 3 out of 5 instead of 4 out of 5, so that kind of helps, or hurts, I should say. And then... Well, doesn't that suck for you? Yes, yes it does. And then I want to... And go out of this way. All right. Uh, Abraham. Death <laughs> saving throw. Yeah. Not looking great for me, guys. Uh, but I just want you to know that I love you all, even in death. It's okay. You just go to hell and be tortured forever. I uh, roll fourteen. Fourteen's a save. Hells yeah! Now, now, boy. We'll oh, have God. your soul soon enough. And it is Bjorn's turn. I can't move towards the dragon, can I? Nope. Because I'm scared or whatever? Yep. Well, I guess. Big old pretty cat. And that's all I can do. Okay. Uh, well, he doesn't. He doesn't have to run away. He just can't get closer, right? Yes. So he could stay in the same spot if he wanted. He doesn't want to do that. 
Yeah, because there's a fire breath coming down right down that line. Is my prediction. It's a white dragon. Okay, doesn't breathe Whatever. fire. Um, Bjorn, make a wisdom saving throw at the end of your turn. Sixteen. Uh, you save. You're no longer frightened. Hey. All right. Um, now it is Arathator's turn. Let's see if he gets his breath weapon back. Look at that. Fuck. Oh boy. Okay. Um. um I'll, I'll wait till you do. Um. Now, do I? It's a sixty-foot cone. So, sixty feet. This way would be one, two, three, four. So then that means everyone in this radius would get hit, so it wouldn't get Bjorn. Huh. Uh, it's just going to make three attacks against Shay. So here come oh actually frightful presence first so wait let me I can't okay so no sorry everyone's immune to it at this point um except for Shay Shay's the only one that's not immune to it so uh here comes a bite attack Shay thirteen to hit that hit that's unfortunate that hits? I rolled a two. Damn it. Yeah, I have. I can only do light armor. So that's 6, 6, uh, plus 6. 18 points of piercing damage. I'm down. And then. F. A. Uh, 6 points of cold damage. Does that count as two fails or. Uh. I just. That. No, that's just part, that was tacked onto the bite. Okay. And then it's going to move along to Dirk and make two claw attacks against Dirk. Uh, thirteen misses, right? Yep, and I'm going to repost that attack. Okay. That's going to be a 24. That's going to hit. 11 plus 17. So you parry and slash um, out of the way of one of the claw attacks. So 17, so that's going to be 97. And the dragon is now bloodied. Uh, yeah. And then... The other claw comes flying towards you for a 28 to hit. Fuck. And that's going to be 8 points of slashing damage. Or, sorry, 8 plus 6, 14 points of slashing damage. I can live with that less. Alright. 14 that was? Uh, yeah. And then yeah. it... Is Shay's turn. Death saving throw, Shave. Yay. But you're not frightened That's anymore. Funny. Hey, you pop up with one hit point. Nice, dude. A little bit less. Do you not dead. fear it anymore, though? Because like she passed out now. Yeah, so out. she's suddenly not afraid. Quick, throw your thingies. Killed me? Nice. You've already had death once. You're not afraid of it anymore. He's already killed me twice. I don't get scared of something after it's killed me twice. Uh, and then at the end of your turn, it's going to beat its wings and make a wing attack. Now. <laughs> Four. Four uh, plus six. Ten points of bludgeoning damage to Chen. Or not Chen. Dirk and uh, Shay. And it's going to fly. Ten to me? Yeah. How far away was he from me? Fifteen feet? He was one block. Uh, around thirty feet. 
Okay, never mind. Disregard. And he's now sitting on top of this ridge. Um, and then it is Chen's turn. This has turned into a difficult situation. It wasn't before. An even more difficult situation. I don't like that lining there. That's not fun. That's not bueno. No me gusta. <coughs> Stop! I'm already dead! <laughs> I'm not doing anything yet. Yet. Legendary action! Don't give him ideas. <laughs> Dumb, he knows. Has Alberto not been made it, made it any closer than that? Yeah, I mean, I'm useless, so... He's like, been trying. He's I'm been equally as useless. It makes you feel any better. There's nothing I can do, and by the time I even get, like, halfway there, the fight's gonna be over, so... And because okay. Guiding Bolt at a third level for a... No one has teleportation or anything to get Alberto into the fight? Nope. No. Potion's so bad. <laughs> it's gonna be a 24 hit. <sighs> 24 hits. Oh. Okay. And then I'm gonna channel Divinity it for th to make it 36 damage. Oh gosh. See, the thing is though, it's just bloody, so it's still like, we just got it to have health. Alright, is that the end of your turn? Um and then with my other... I had a bonus action. I, my bonus action, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. 60 feet. He's 60 feet, right? Yes. I mean? um, right on him. Then I'm going to roll to attack with him. My, my Warhammer. For a, a twenty-three, nice. Hits. Four one d eight plus five. Four seven damage. Seven okay. damage. Okay. You shouldn't have done that. And as uh, your hammer f um comes off of the dragon. He whips his tail around and smacks, um, smacks, uh, Abraham. Wait, oh, but I'm still, uh, I'm still dead. Why is he hitting me? And he knocks Abraham's body into the gorge. Um, and <laughs> that's your last death saving through Abraham. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh boy, Southern Devil Man's gonna come back. We'll cut what? to we'll cut to that later, maybe after the battle's over. Oh yeah, good good point there. F's in the chat, boys. F's in the chat. You mean after we all die and get some closure? What happens to poor Abraham? Alberto dashing. Yeah. Like, there's nothing else I can do, can I? I'm just kind of useless. Unless you try to climb up the thing. Uh, I'm already so far away that that probably just... Whatever. That's it. Alright, Dirk? Dirk is going to take the longbow and the, uh... And the, uh, arrows of slaying, they were. Yes, I was already and, starting to offer them to you when I died, so they're like... In and my wonder mind. why we ever gave it to this <laughs> damaged sponge in the first place. <laughs> and then Dirk is going to activate Fighting Spirit, and what are the what are the numbers on that crossbow, on that longbow? It's a longbow plus one. Here, let me add it to your thing real quick. Or do you want to add it, do you know how, into your equipment? Uh, I can, just... Is it just it's uh, longbow, it should be longbow plus, plus one. Well, what's it? What's it normally? What's a longbow normally? Well, if you add it to your equipment and attach it, it will tell you what your bonus is. 
Because I don't think you're proficient in it, so you'll just get your dexterity bonus. Yeah, like, I have a dex of one, so the plus one gives me a plus two. Alright, longbow plus one, add... Equipment, inventory, longbow plus one. That is a long sword. Longbow plus one. Actions. All right, so I get plus six for that. Damn, dude. Actually, you no, you uh, you help me manually enter the plus ones for my magic item, right? Uh, your insignia of claws, yes. So this will be a plus seven, actually. Uh, then yes, it would. It will. And then there are two arrows of slaying, too, that I'm giving you. Alright, for both those arrows of slaying, I'm taking Arrows of dragon slaying. Oh, they're dragon For those arrows of dragon slaying, I'm taking two advantage shots. 17? 17 misses as one of the arrows goes flying past the dragon and off into the other part of the ice cavern. I'm extremely disappointed. I'm taking the other shot. Come on. Natural 20. Nice, dude. Oh, boy. All right, so roll your He's damage. So that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be 11 plus the, the roll, right? Uh, um, yes. Damage plus the roll? Yes. Alright, so. What, I rolled a six. Are you using the arrow slang for that, too? Give me a second. Um, yeah, so how much damage did you do? So, that's 11, and I rolled a six. Does that. Do I still add the plus three? Uh. No, not to this. Not the second time. You only add the plus three once. Okay, so that's 17 total. 17. Plus whatever bonus I get. For six the D10. Item. 6d10? 6d10 piercing damage. Is there any way that Alberto can recover the other... Which guy? gets doubled because it was a natural 20, so 12d10. Yeah. Oh, okay, fuck. Oh my god. 12... Alright, I'm gonna... Wait, if you get all 10s, you can do 120 damage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 120. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm rolling. Sorry, I only have 1d10. <laughs> That's nine. Someone do the math for him. I, I got it. <laughs> if it's double damage, so he does 120 off the bat, right? It's not double damage. It's 12 well, like he does double dice. Damage, right? He already took the damage. Oh, yeah. So 60 plus another uh, D 6 D10. We'll do that. So just oh, roll it six nice. times. Yeah. All right. So okay. that first one was a nine. 69. Hey. Nice. nice. Second one. Is eight. Third is six. Fourth is two. Fifth is eight. And last is that's a three. So eleven, 36. thirteen, nineteen, Six twenty-seven. 36. So 96 damage. Oh boy. So 90, 96 plus the 17 he had earlier? Uh, That's yeah. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of fucking damage. 96 plus 17 equals math. Uh, 113. Oh my boy. <laughs> what did I do? Oh no. What did I do? What did I do to the game? <laughs> sh you should. You release the first arrow. It goes high and above the dragon. And he just says, Ha! What are you even aiming at? And then you release the second one from the... From its fletching. And it goes straight and it hits the dragon in the chest. And immediately it tears open a terrible wound in the chest of the dragon. And you still, you just see him crumple down onto his front legs and just go, What the fuck?
fuck was that? <laughs> uh, he is still alive, though. Oh, deep bloody. Oh, he's what severely is bloodied. He was already bloodied before this turn. Uh, Limper. Your turn. Okay. Uh, um, so... I am going to... Um... Like, how is this? One, two, three, four, so that's 60. Um, so I'm going to back up a little bit. And I'm going to use a Scorching Ray at the third level. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to do Fireball. I'm going to do Fireball. Okay. Um, so it's a, it's a deck 16 save. Natural one, but it's going to burn one of its legendary resistances. Damn it. So that means it's, the it's superstars are coming out, guys! Coming Friday. Out. Friday! Friday, Friday, Friday. Guess what? It's dirt. Hi, dirt. Oh, okay, well, so it's going to take half damage, but that is 8d6. Back to the calculator. Uh, so it's 29, so 13? No, uh, four, 14. 14? Yeah. Uh, 14 damage. Okay. And it is then Abraham... Nope, sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, remember? I'm sorry. Remember what you did? What we did. Bjorn, your turn. <laughs> My turn? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This way. So, are you jumping down that or climbing down it? Any range of attack you have, please. I mean, I'm not metagaming. Un. <laughs> I'm just getting out of the way so you can't hit all of us at once. Are you? So you're That's jumping literally down? That's all I can do. <laughs> what? You're jumping down? No, I'm climbing down. Climbing down. Make a athletics yep. check with disadvantage because the ice is super slippery. And you didn't use a rope Ten. or anything. You fall um, and take <laughs> okay. five points of bludgeoning damage. Is that on my turn? Uh, yes, it is. Best course of action. What's it gonna be? Uh. Mm. 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 It's gonna turn towards Dirk and Shay. Shay, are you already dead? Uh, I need to roll death save, but I am down. Okay, you're not gonna like this. I know. <sighs> All right. Um, it's gonna use its breath weapon. Wait, why would it attack the things that aren't attacking him? Would it go after threats instead of non-threats? Um, uh, I'm pretty sure the big bad boomstick came from Dirk. Yeah. It did. So why would it attack Shay? Because Dirk's right next to me and he's using his breath weapon. Oh. This is an attack on me. She's collateral damage. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so Dirk, I need you to make a. Um, make a dexterity, wait, constitution saving throw. Um, <clears throat> and Shay, oh. you automatically fail it. So you have to hope that this doesn't go past your max HP negative. I got a 12. That's a fail. Uh. So that's 12d8 worth of damage. 12 d8 fuck this is gonna burn their down 18 19 plus plus 20 28 30 35 plus Forty 
five. 48 points of damage. 48? 48. Oh boy. I'm down. Alright, well, that's two. Um. Death saves, but my. Uh, damn it. My max HP is 51, so. Okay, so you're at negative 48 now, then. Yes. Okay. Alright. Uh, and then it's going to climb down this side of the. Um, thing and begin to fly this way. So it's out of view of everyone now. Alberto, your time to shine. Well, finally. On V1! Uh, and then it is... Uh, Shay's turn. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. You should roll that again. That didn't bounce a lot. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a great roll. I mean, I say I say she rolls it because it was a plonk. It literally just it just, it didn't even roll a little bit. It literally just landed. Shay or Shay, if you don't think it was properly rolled, you may re-roll it. That was not properly rolled at all. I'm leaving it up. I am not there to police this. So I am leaving it up to you and your integrity. If you do not believe it was properly rolled, you may re-roll it. literally dropped it. Fuck your integrity, you're fighting it. Oh, I said number! No, okay, so I re-rolled it because Mike wouldn't shut up. I rolled a three. Um, so... And Bye. Dirk, you Bye. hear... Bye. You hear the last exasperated breath of Shay. I don't hear anything, I'm unconscious. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just scream into the void. <laughs> It was your original. Your original was a one, right? It was a two. Oh, the two. Hey, I made you do better. Yeah. Um, I just yell into the chamber with my dying breath. I want Alberto to know that this is all his fault. <laughs> and then I die. Oh, I also save Thunderfeet from the, the other dead guy. My spirit stirs at the mention of Thunderfeet. <laughs> Um, and then Shay, as your necklace falls off of you, um, all of a sudden a horse appears on top of Shay and Dirk. Oh no! <laughs> Am I playing Thunderfeet? And Thunderfeet. Um, still have to vivify, so there's a potential. Thunderfeet is nudging his face against yours. While paying no attention to Dirk's body. My poor baby. Uh, yeah, the spell ended because you're no longer alive. Uh, then it <laughs> is Chen's turn. All right. Well, this is annoying. Who's down? No, I'm down. Does dead count as I'm dead? dead. <laughs> uh, Spurt is dead. He's the most important, probably. Two dead. Yeah, two dead. Revivify. Three dead. Abraham's also dead. Yay. Can I still see the dragon, though? Uh, no. It has dipped down. Wait, who's the three dead? Spurt. <clears throat> oh. Wait, no, you're not dead, Shayom. You can still be revivified. Uh, it has to be within one minute, I believe, so each round counts as six rounds, so. Um, six seconds? Each six seconds. Six each round counts as six seconds, so it's ten rounds worth of things. How far? How do I do a ruler? Hold down tab. That music's a little too loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. 30 feet is 2.2. So, I would have to dash. Or I could go there. Well, uh, to dash, you would move 30 feet. So, 2.2, you would be here. And that would be my turn, correct? Yes. Uh, I don't have any bonus actions. So be useful with it. Not unless you have another healing word. Oh, no. No. Never mind. She's not unconscious. She's dead. Um, I can't 
can't. I can do cure wounds on that. That doesn't help though. You could cure wounds, Dirk, or or um, bonus action heal the, Dirk. There, yeah. Because but that's his. What was it there? Yeah, it's about there. Oh, about, yeah. Two point uh, two ish. Yeah. Yeah, that's about close enough. The other thing too is I'm gonna move my spiritual weapon. Was it sixty or thirty? Feet. Twenty feet. Twenty feet. With a bonus action. That's like there ish. Twenty feet it would be one and a half squares, so maybe here. And that's my turn. Alberto's about to maybe be useful. I mean, I'm not that a gamer. I mean, he's pretty hard to be useful with, so. Alberto, it's your turn. Well, I don't want to move closer because if he flies over, then that's just negative feet in that direction. Yeah, just keep moving towards us. Um. Yeah, he's I gonna try to catch up to you, and he's gonna try to kill you by yourself. I mean, that's fine. I'll let him die. Uh, but I guess I'll move closer to everyone, and then I'm going to turn around and do a dodge action. Is that possible? So, 15 feet of movement, turn around and dodge? Yeah. Okay. Uh, make a perception check. What is my perception? Plus two. Oh! Um, a natural one, so, you know. Okay, yeah, sorry, I can't give you no hints. The so. ultimate roll. <sighs> All right. Um. Uh, Dirk's turn. Death saving throw. Fourteen. You save one. Limper's turn. Um. Okay. So I was trying to think about this. Um. There's nothing. I I can't get to anybody really. But I want to dash. So that's right about there. About -ish. there. Yeah. Is it? It's Limper's. T uh, that was the end of your turn, Limper. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's all I can do. Yeah, I thought you would have said something else. Sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. I thought you just. I thought you knew because that's. I no. don't have any. Bjorn's turn. Can I go to Abraham's dead body? Abraham's dead body. What's wrong with my dead body? Yes, you're at Abraham's dead body. He, his crossbow and his arrows. You so I can bitch. finally do something in this fight. You're like the worst kind of person in Apex. Uh, <laughs> do you want to know what else he has? He has a plus one longsword. He, uh, he has a plus one longsword, an armor of gleaming breastplate, some arrows, a cloak of many fashions, a hand crossbow, and a longsword, and a lyre. He also he has actually... one platinum, 2,891 gold... <laughs> What? 18 Electrum, uh, 32 Silver, and 8 Copper. Yeah, thanks, Tim. Didn't need any of that to be public knowledge, but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> Just saying. Question. Question. Yes. Can he be re revivified at this point? Uh, technically, yes. He can still be revivified. Okay. Gonna take anything but the arrows and the crossbow. Alright, so you take the crossbow and the crossbow bolts. I'll be a good person. I okay. appreciate that. Now, if only God would be the same way. <laughs> but if you do die and you can't revivify, I'm calling dibs on all of that. Not all of it. My ghost shall haunt you. 90%. Okay. Your ghost is gonna be At the hell. end of your turn, uh, you? the dragon's going to beat his wings, and you guys can see him fly in between these ridges for 40 feet. And then at the beginning of his turn, Alberto, you see him fly above you. And suddenly dive into this pool of water, making a huge splash. Oh. 
and disappearing. Cool. Um, I go closer to my friends. Well, is, um, are we out of combat? Combat is over. So eventually, Alberto, you come across this Damn scene. Question. All right. Well, I got a bunch of things to do. Never mind. Did he really just run away? Yes. Oh, oh, fuck. So I'm gonna go up to Dirk and then do spare the dying. Be stabilized. Okay. Actually, I'll just yeah, I'll do that. It's a cantrip. It happens. Um. So I, I can do. I have one spell slot, so I can revivify one person. <laughs> Definitely Shay, because. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm up. You're Absolutely. you're not up. You're you're uh, stable. Meaning just zero health. Zero health. Yes, and unconscious. What does that mean for death saves? Or just no health? death saves. Abraham's used to death. This is true. And Jansar can make a comeback. And he has no deals with the devil. Oh, God. <laughs> but Jansar, you all know that... Uh, that... Abraham has sold his soul to the devil, so you will be condemning him to hell if you leave him dead. Yeah, it'd be fine. All right, leave me be. Abraham can roll a new character. Yeah, All right, care. Chen. When you make, while you make your decision, <laughs> I'll remember this. While you make your decision, Shay, you open your eyes. Hello. And you're in a dark room. Oh dear. <laughs> And you look to either side of you, and you see Abraham sitting next to you. Only, it's not Abraham. His face is sunken in. And his skin is so tight that it's just clutching his skull. And his normal blue complexion has now become... A crimson red. You don't look so good, bud. Wow, gee, thanks. You don't look best in the morning either, but you know, I don't say anything. You're just a different color. My, right? my, my! Yeah. Now that is no way to talk to a lady. Hey, yeah. now, 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 why'd you bring her here? I thought you and I had our dealings to ourselves. Why? Wow. If I do say so myself. You sold her soul to us in the I mean, agreement. What is he talking about? Dun, dun, dun. Remember when I told you that? Remember when I told you that my soul kind of got sold to the devil? Yeah. Actually, you never said that. I mean, you might have brief briefly mentioned. It. I don't know. It seemed like suddenly, it like black curtains open, exposing a lava, hellish floor. Oh no. That extends as far as the eye can see. Are we in Black the billows of smoke are covering the sky, only broken by an orange glow and a radiating heat that immediately is drawing sweat from your brows. I don't like this. Oh, uh, it's fine. I've been here like 50 times. It's just scared. Now, me. Abraham! Yes, Daddy. We had an agreement. <laughs> you were to bring me the souls of those holy men. That was before you took Jeff. You were to not fight the dragon. He did forget that one. <laughs> no, I just stopped caring. You took Jeff. And I don't care how long it takes me. And you see... Jeff, crawl onto the shoulder of Asmodeus in front oh, of him. Oh, you have so fucked up. Now, Abraham, I believe by breaching your contract, it is you who has fucked up. Ooh. You know... You may take the elevator out. They never see themselves bleed. 
until it's too late. And as he says those words, doors open behind you. And you begin to be pulled towards this fiery whirlpool that is centered in the elevator floor. And you begin to... uh, Its pull is so great that as you're holding on to the desk in front of you, your nails, which have now turned into claws, are scraping against the rock, pulling you in. Shay, you're unaffected by this. As you see uh, Abraham's body slowly becoming horizontal as the pull towards this whirlpool becomes greater and greater. Shay, I could use a hand. Shay. Shay, yo, don't you dare touch him. Shay, dare touch He is ours him. now. I'll touch Thunderfeet to no end. Uh, and Thunderfeet's not with me anymore. And I try clutching for my necklace. Not Along, there. the necklace is not there. A <laughs> long tentacle, black oh God, as obsidian, comes <laughs> out of the whirlpool and grabs you by um, the by the leg and ankle uh, make a strength saving throw Dallas make a save Jace. Uh, that's uh sorry that's for Abraham oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. oh I'm sorry uh, what kind of throw strength strength saving throw Abraham's like checked out halfway through <laughs> uh, oh I thought it was Shay's turn uh but ah uh, oh, fuck me uh strength is plus one I get two. As you are yanked from your oh. chair and your uh, your uh, your claws screech across the rock of the table as you get pulled further and further. Now, now, Abraham, go quiet into the night. Do not go make a fuss about into it. The night. And he just points at you. Snaps his fingers, and suddenly you are engulfed in flames that are burning your skin. I will be back. You get pulled into the whirlpool, and suddenly you find yourself in burning, hot, boiling water that's surrounding your body. Your clothes that you are wearing begin to dissolve and disintegrate off of you. You look at your body and it's no longer the triton form that you have uh, grown up with. It is now just black withering skin. Death is only the beginning. Now, you will be a loyal minion and you will be a pawn in the blood war uh, and the elevators close ding. now Shayon uh, how are you uh, when did she get revivified uh, uh, now she's in hell uh, um, uh, Alberto and Abraham and I and no, 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 no. I am your only friend here, Shay. My name is Asmodeus. Asmodeus. And I'm sure you've met my friend here, Jeff. He was but a, a perk when I took Abraham's soul. Now, Abraham breached his contract. Oh, boy. Here. However, Shay, I believe you are a more intelligent creature. You're sweet. As sweet as mama's apple pie on a Sunday morning. And I'm sure your head is on straight. Mm, that's debatable, but go on. No, 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 Shay. How about we make a deal? Hmm. Your friend Alberto, would you say he trusts you? Yes. 
with his life? Maybe not that much. How about a soul? Oh god, definitely not that. Well, Shay, I am presenting you with an opportunity. Opportunity of one might say a lifetime. Get it? Oh boy. Now, if you can convince Alberto to veer from the path, so to speak, maybe do some unholy works, that would tip the scale in my favor, not that of his gods. Which means he will be sitting here instead of you. Doesn't that sound good? Um, I don't, I, I'd be. All I need you to do. Is sign the dotted line, Shay. I can't read and, this writing. <laughs> and the devil produces two baby dolls made of dirty rags and rotting wood. This seems really unsanitary. The, he pulls a string on the back of the dolls and they begin to recite a deal in high-pitched voices, but it's in a language you don't understand. Okay, see, I accidentally signed up for, like, that general auto insurance, and I made... Fast in el que la bola te, fast en la bola que te da, who said cara la... He sacrificed my friend. Boy, that shit, da, da. He's not... This he is, hands okay. he hands you one of the dolls. Now I will keep this one. You can keep the other. To seal the deal, all we have to do is make the dolls hug. Isn't that nice, Shay? <laughs> Don't you horrifying. want the two friends to hug, Shay? <laughs> what? This, this, is, this is not fun. I do not like this game. Oh, Shay. I don't like to hear those words you're spewing from your mouth. I, you want me to betray my friend just so I can get another shot at life. I started to see what you did to Abraham. Well, no, 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 Shay. I am saving you. I am providing salvation from eternal damnation. No, I traveled a long time with the paladin. You do not seem like one of those good gods that you go Take for. the doll, Shayom. Press it to mine. And make them hug. I'm... I... I... And at that moment, that. back in the real world... Uh... You're making this really hard not the metagame. I hope you know that. <laughs> Uh, Chen. Uh. <laughs> Three seconds have passed by. Fuck. Not very much time to think. I want, I want Alberto to like, I'm like, Chen, save Shay! I can't, I can't live without her! Save her! Save her, damn it! That's cute. Can Chen only save one person? That's a platonic friend, yes. not anything sexual. We were very good with platonic friends, but I can't yeah. live without her. I can only save Okie dokie. Oh. Dad. Yes, I'll save Shay. I'm sorry, Mason. <laughs> nah, that's okay. Well, being Mason stinks. Oh, yeah, well, he made deals with the devil, and you don't make deals with the devil. <laughs> I'm only doing it because in character, Chen would be very suspicious of you because of what happened before. Uh, in character, huh? Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now press the dolls together, Shay. And he takes oh, your hand and begins to force it towards five. his. And as he does, suddenly a holy beam of light shines from above you. And you see above you the crackling of lightning and you hear Chen's voice 
reciting a prayer, and you hear Asmodeus go, No, 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 no! I had not had enough time! Mark my word, Shayom, you will be back here. Allegedly. And I will get that soul of yours, <laughs> as well as Alberto's. Allegedly. You can have mine, you are not taking my friends! And Shay, suddenly you are sent flying upwards into a blinding light, lightning crackling around you, and suddenly you open your eyes, and Chen is standing above you holding a diamond that if the diamond suddenly shatters, so now it's only gem dust, and the dust floats in the air sparkling in what little light is down here in this cavern and flows into your body and you take your first breath again <gasps> i go shayom and i jump on her alberto jumps on you so, so you're alive so question <laughs> when when dirk missed with the first arrow do we know where it went? <laughs> Somewhere deep into the cave. And I think that's a good place to end it. <laughs> yeah, I need to get off pretty soon, so... Alright. Um, uh, can I take all of uh, Abraham's things now? Since I didn't before? Sure. Uh, I want to take Abraham's body and throw it in the pool of, of water next game. To, to see what happens. So, uh, Bjorn, if you're ready... I will see you guys later. Yeah. Have a good night, Chen. So yeah. that is a longsword plus one. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Just manage it equipment. And then deal with yeah. it later. Sure. I'm going to say to Haz, Haz, you better be ready because these cold-ass motherfuckers are going to be drowning in their own goddamn blood. Yes, yeah. yes. So Let the hate flow through you. <laughs> Not hate, it's contempt. It's a little bit of hate. <laughs> <laughs> I very much don't like them, and they're bad people, and they killed my BFF, platonic friend Shay. Of course, bad people need to die. Yeah, you know what? We can agree on that. It's okay to hate die. bad people. It, it's I don't hate them, I just think that they should die. Well, that's, those are strong feelings. Sounds like hate to me. Um, <laughs> That's the law. The law can't hate. What law? Uh, the one where you say you can't murder people. I've never heard of such a law. Well, you're gonna learn today, and I'm gonna put has on the ground, and I'm gonna pull up my Bible, and I'm gonna start reading. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Make it stop. I don't, I don't stop. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bjorn, uh, a long sword plus one. I've got most of it already. Okay. I haven't done the money yet, but yeah. So, uh, uh, so can I assume the arrows are crossbow bolts? Yeah, they're they should be bolts. I think you put in arrows by mistake. Okay. Um. Yeah. So go to currency under your equipment and get ready to add this stuff. And I'm still adding the bolts. I'm not very effective at this. Crossbow bolt. Looting dead bodies. It's not what I normally. Oh, okay, we're good. Currency, how do I get a currency? There we go, I'm good. One platinum. Just the one? 2,891 like gold. Got it. 18 electrum. Or an 8 copper. 32 silver, 8 copper. Do. What about peanut butter? Do I get peanut butter? It's uh, Thunderfoot. Oh, wait, no, no, no. no, no. Peanut, peanut butter is mine. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a horse that's just out right now. <laughs> yeah. A horse back in. I, like, carry Shay to Thunderfeet. He's like, look, it's Thunderfeet. He missed you so much. My friend. Dirk is hey, still unconscious, and the last thing it was was the horse was on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, what did, what did you see, Shay? They took, they took Abraham. He's, yeah. He's gone. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but what happened to you? There was, 
a man speaking in a southern accent who gave me a creepy doll that spoke a creepy mm. language, and he had one, and he wanted me to make my doll a good doll, but if I did it, then I would, I, he would give me my soul back, but I would have to sacrifice the world. Shay, I would gladly sacrifice my soul to see Oh my god. Again. Aww. My platonic man. I, I don't read the platonic thing at all. I can... Alberta, straight on the mouth. I drop her. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm going to assume that was platonic kiss. <laughs> platonic kiss on the mouth with tongue. Hot. Now I I dropped you before you got tongue. There was a little bit tongue. Now before like I kind of see you going for a kiss and then I get distracted by a shiny object and I drop you before you make connection. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Thunderfeet. Nay. <laughs> You want to hang out for a little bit before I put you back in the gym? It's kind of cold and not really good for a horse down here. <laughs> <laughs> I cast speak with animals real quick. Bitch, it is cold up in here! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, do you want to go back in the gym? Do you want to, like, stretch your legs for a little bit? No! Get me the fuck back out of here! Okay, 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 and I, I cast the holding spell to put Thunderfeet back in the gym. Shoot. <laughs> well, that was fun. Bye, bud. Alright. Oh, god damn. Alberta was used to sack of shit. Oh, um, should I... It gives me options for restoring life. Do I have one HP or full HP? You have one HP, um, and also you have revivify sickness. So, um, you return yeah, with good. one hit point, and um, I need to look up revivify. Or maybe it's not revivify. Maybe it's the. Uh, I think it's um, resurrection that's different. Okay. So has now that I read the first chapter of the holy text here, are you ready for your quiz? <laughs> God, I wish it was anyone else. Why couldn't it have been someone else? Do the seven gods watch over us and make sure we live in peace? A yes. B no. <laughs> C. Leave me here. Well, it looks like you're not paying attention, so I'll read the first chapter again to you. No! <laughs> and that's where we will end tonight's game. Yay. Yay. I'm sorry, Mason. <laughs> <laughs>